What's good everybody, it's your boy Slim, AKA Mr. Different, back with another video. Today's video, I'm gonna teach you guys, this is a viewer request actually, I'm gonna teach you guys the ways that I like to sample inside of FL Studio version 20. Yes, FL 20, we're back in FL Studio. I know you guys have been waiting for some more FL Studio videos, so let's get right into it. So yes, this is a viewer request. A lot of you guys have been asking me, how do I sample inside of FL Studio? So I'm gonna show you just a few ways that I like to sample, and you could use these tips to maybe sample yourself, or you can modify them to, you know, make them work for you. So let's get right to it. So here's FL Studio, and I'm just gonna grab a sample from Splice, because you know I like using Splice, it's just right here. So we just grab this little piano sample. We're gonna throw it up in here. Now we have a piano sample up here. Let me close splice. All right. And here it is. Put on song mode. All right. So that's super fast. Let's go ahead and turn the original tempo, which I think is 70. So I'm gonna show you ways I like to sample. Now, first way and the most easiest way to sample inside of FL Studio, in my opinion, is to just put it in the pattern editor like so, and you will just set your tempo to whatever it is or whatever tempo you're planning on setting it. So if I set it right here to, you know, 72, then I can go into the wrapper right here, the wrapper view, and I can mess with the pitch, pan, timing, and the actual type of, like, guess, stretching mode, time stretching mode. So I could, you know, increase the pitch. I can, like, lower it a little bit. So I can lower the pitch that way. Also, if I go to the timing right here, I can actually change how many bars I want to play. So if I want to do like four bars, you know, it's already four bars, but I can do two, make it a little faster. I gotta put it on actual, let's see, auto, cause what, there you go. Now I'll put two bars, it should stretch. Or I didn't do a manual, that's cool. So I can just straight mess with the timing to kind of miss the timing of it. You know, you do some cool stuff like that. You also, you know, reverse it. You know, and that's one way I like to sample because the easiest way, especially if I'm making like some, say, trap sample based music, this is probably the easiest way to do it. And this way I like to do it because it just makes it a whole lot simple and I don't really have to go through too much craziness that way. So that's the first way I like to sample. Just throw it right up in the pattern in the actual editor right here in the range room window and just mess around with the wrapper and mess with the timing and the pitch and, you know, may reverse it and I can send it to a mixer channel and also do some special processing if I so like. So my second way I like to sample is probably it's a paid way. So that's the unfortunate thing about it. So you got to spend money is using Serato sample. In my opinion, Serato sample is probably the best plugin to use for sampling in every, in any DAW because it's like I say it's a VST. So any DAW that supports VST or AU, you can open it inside that DAW and use it. And it just, it's consistent across all DAW. So it don't really matter what you do. Cause the easy thing about it, you can just go to whatever sample you got. So I can go to my sample. I can throw it into Serato sample. And then, you know, it gave me the tempo and everything that right now it's giving me a tempo of, I think it's like double time because it's not 148 beats, it's actually 72. But I mean, you do, mo you do your math, you know, you get close to that timing. It showed me the key. I can, you know, pitch it up, pitch it down, depending on what I'm doing. And then I can go right here to find samples. I can do random set, find sample. I can hit find samples or set random. There we go. Set random samples. And I can just... And I will use this, you know, you can hit set random again or just randomly, you know, select around there. Now, if I'm going for more of like a boom bap, um, lo-fi-ish type of sound, then I would definitely gravitate to a Serato sample because, you know, I don't have Ableton. I don't use Ableton. Ableton, you know, their warp function out there is really good. But Serato sample is probably the closest you can get to that. And, you know, inside DAW, it does cost some money. You know, you probably catch it on sale, but it's dope like that. Like I said, you can also, you know, change the, the key. Go ahead and start making some struggle, boom, bap, that kind of stuff. You got to change the timing up as well. You got to half time it. I mean, it's just a great way to get some samples going right off the bat. And like I said, you can use it in all DAWs. And, you know, I like to use this 
that way. So, yeah. But what if you want to do this kind of stuff inside of FL Studio because you don't have money because, you know, broke gang doesn't exist out there. What can you use to kind of simulate this? And the third way that I like to do, and I'm starting to experiment more with it, and hopefully I have some videos in the future on how to use this because I'm, you know, I'm going to experiment with it, but it's using Fruity Slicer. Now, Fruity Slicer is a, D, is a default plugin that comes inside FL Studio, and it's almost similar to that. It's not exactly there. It's less limited. It's, it's more limited, but it gets you kind of, it gets you a good result. So if I just go to my sample right here, and then I drag it inside Fruity Slice. Now we got my sample. You know, my sample's in there. I can go to Slice, and I can figure out, pick how I want to slice it, either by beats or whatever. So we'll just do like four beats now. You know, I don't like that, so I'll just click it again, and then we'll do no slice, and then we'll do maybe two. You know, you get kind of similar fit. It does have a D click functionality, it has auto fit. And like I said, there's a ton of different slicing modes. You can do dual slice, medium slice, uh, sharp slice, zero crossing. And you got all kind of transient modes. You can have it go to the, t the transients, the pro transients, and you got different tonal type of stuff to do the slices automatically for you. So if you're trying to sample stuff, you like say you want to go for that boom bap style of stuff, then this is probably the best way to go. And then I think you should be able to change the pitch and stuff like that uh yeah you change the pitch right no that's not it i haven't really experimented too much with it i'm pretty sure there's people out there who buy a lot more videos which like i said i am definitely trying to you know get good at it you can reverse it or reverse the sample okay that's, that's cool change the bpm okay oh that's cool so it does detect the BPM as well. So yeah, I mean, just it's something I'm experimenting with. I've been seeing people talk about it. They say I should look into it. So I might have a full video once I get a grasp of it a little bit better and teach you that. But it's definitely a dope way to sample as well. I think you can also use Fruity Slice X the same way. I don't really mess with Fruity Slice X. I used to, I used to back in the day, but I haven't touched Fruity Slice X in forever or Slice X, or is it matter of fact? So yeah, slice X. I haven't messed with this in a long time. So you might can do the same thing in here, but I, I haven't touched it. But yeah, fruity slice is definitely the easiest way to go. You just throw it in there, click a chop mode, and boom, it's there and it's done. So yeah, those are just ways that I like to sample. Like I said, the best my, my favorite ways you just write a sample. But if it comes down to it, I think just throwing it in the piano roll and or throwing it in the arranger and then mixing it, mixing it with it that way. It's probably the best, easiest, and quickest way for me because I said I don't really do a lot of chops and stuff like that. I like to just make my sample, process the hell out of it, and then build my drums and my other sounds around that sample. That's what I do. You know, you can do it as well. You know, it might be something you want to try out there. So, yeah, hopefully in the next video I'll show you some guys the way of processing your samples to get some unique sounds and characteristics to it so, you know, you can really stand out when making sample-type beats. So, hope you guys are like, oh, you know who it is, your boy Slim, a.k.a. Miss Different. Like I said, I did not forget about your FL game. I still got videos coming for you guys. And so if you want to see more videos, Videos, leave it in the link the comments below so i know what you like i'm also gonna do a video like this inside studio one as well come show you that as well in a later day so with that being said if you guys enjoy always i know it is your favorite fresh cut producer well who needs a fresh cut producer slim aka is different not motivated by the money but the like comments got and views and with that being said hope you guys enjoy like always done the video if you like it if you didn't then you know, whatever follow me on instagram twitter soundcloud and mr different tv i will see you guys in the next video have a good one everybody